It's known as the pass out or choking game, but it's not a game at all. Young people intentionally cut off the flow of oxygen to their brain in exchange for a brief high. I think that it's really sad that kids are resorting to that type of play and um, calling that fun. Goffstown Superintendent Brian Balky says two students did that this morning at the high school. They passed out, but will be okay. I remember many years ago this was something that um, some schools had dealt with, but appears to be back. So we wanted to get information out to parents so they could be informed. Officials say students might be seeing or posting videos of the choking game on social media. I think they do it a couple of different ways, but it, it does typically involve another student. And obviously this can be incredibly dangerous. You know, restricting oxygen intake um, can end up being deadly. Balky is sending out a warning tonight. The message to parents would always be talk to your kids, know what your kids are into, know who your kids are interacting with and what they're doing. And that message appears to be resonating with parents. Just having open communication and earlier conversations with kids um, and having taking time throughout the day to actually have contact and see touch base on where their day is going and how they're feeling throughout the day. This is the first time this behavior has been reported in Goffstown, but there have been cases of it happening across the country over the past 10 years or so. In Goffstown, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.